Hello, I'm Ewan McGregor, and once more I'm using my powers of celebrity to change the world, and I'm appearing in black and white to show how serious I really am. The fact that me, an actor, is telling you, a normal person, should make you want to do it more. It's Movember, and this is my cancer research, right here. Each follicle of this fun moustache I've grown is another step to preventing men getting cancer in their balls and prostate. So join us. Help the fight. Eve, give me a hand. Take this. I'm clearing out the attic. It's bloody filthy in here. Who's she? She looks cool. I suppose I was rather cool at your age. That's you? But if you were once like me, then I could one day end up like you. <gasps> Thanks for that. Ow! I just wanted to meet you. It's my people's way of saying hello and also stealing people's money. You're the most beautiful girl I've seen in the last 15 minutes, so you are. I'm Liam, so I am. Oh, who are you people? We've been called travellers, we've been called gypsies, we've also been called caravan folk. Wow. You're so unconventional. Look what I found in the attic. Ah, oh, the bucket list we wrote when we'd run out of things to talk about. Skydiving, streaking in a public place. Oh, how about that one? Let's do that one. That looks really interesting. I recommend we do this one. That's his canal adventure, Edgar. The sea's just faded. Balls. Let's not bother then. Mountains are like these, look a bit like tits. <laughs> Good morning, Squidge. I've been going through this box Wendy gave me. Quite the trip down memory lane. Look at me in my salad days. <laughs> I was having so much fun. But now I'm bored. I want more from my life. Kenton. Branson, my old nemesis. I come in peace. I bring you a message from Her Majesty the Queen. How many times do I have to tell you, Branson? It's a stamp. Yes, it's got her face on it, but it's not from her. But it is. She's going to give you a KBE. Sir Kenton Lavender? I like the way that sounds. <laughs> and now, as is customary for all knights of the British Empire, we must have a bath together. Are you sure this is customary? No. I just thought it would be nice. But look! I've just made myself a little beard with the bubbles. You already have a beard. In other news, scientists have made a huge breakthrough in cloning technology. Over to me for the weather. Thanks, me. The weather over the last few days has been raining. Sunday lunch, eh? What a great English tradition. So nice for us all to sit down together and just chat. Jason, why is that thing on your face? It's a Movember moustache. I'm growing it throughout November to help the fight against prostate and testicular cancer. So those semi-pubescent hairs on your face are going to prevent a malignant growth in your balls? Yeah. And I'm not just growing it because I want to see what I look like with a moustache. So that's what I look like with a moustache. 
It's great because complete strangers can look at me and instantly they know that I'm a caring, giving person with an ironic sense of humour about my face having facial hair on it. Liam! Everyone, this is my boyfriend. He's a gypsy. He's so alternative. Yes, we gypsies live by our own code. A series of rules and beliefs we made up ourselves that govern our unique and questionable lifestyle. We call it... <laughs> the Gypsy Way. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to formally present myself. <laughs> the Gypsy Way. Well, that's annoying. I'm sure you disapprove, but I refuse to end up boring like you guys. Shit, you're right. Look at the list, Wend. Number 23, let's never turn into a boring old couple. Eve, you date whoever you want. We've got a list to do. This is crazy, Edgar! We're screeching! Woohoo! I know! I feel so alive! Who knew that simply running naked in public was so much bloody fun. It even had its own third for what it is. That's how fun it is. And because we're running, it's not indecent exposure. I love streaking! Yay! What the? Huh? Uh, 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 If you're going to behead me, at least do it to my face. Welcome, Kenton, to the inside of Big Ben. So a house was booked. May I introduce the Knights of England? Paul McCartney. Sir Paul McCartney, hey. Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKellen, ducky. Mix-a-lot. Sir Mix-a-lot, asshole. Judy Dench. Sir Judy. No, wait, Dame Judy Dench. And you probably know the rest. Oh, look, here's Sir Bruce. No, no, it's to see you, to see you. Hmm. And that's Sir Ralph Harris. I know, we weren't sure either. <laughs> I've got me woggle stick. <laughs> Why are we meeting behind a clock? I is it a gay thing? No, it's an interrogation. Well, someone could have told me. If you're to have the greatest honour and privilege there is, to have the word sir in front of your name instead of just your name on its own without sir, you must answer some questions. Nothing serious, just a friendly, cosy, happy, lovely chat. No, 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 what are you saying? No, no! to another exciting episode of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Today, for Gareth Gates' Jungle Challenge, he must take part in a Bukkake with 15 howler monkeys. <laughs> Not nice. I've been making arrangements for the next thing on our list. Number 53, try some mind-altering drugs. Snoochy boochies. glad you're here to share in my people's culture. My money's on a small one. He may be free, but he's quick. 
This'll be great for the new documentary, My Big Fat Gypsy Fist Fight. Can we go get on the eye gouging? My parents still don't disapprove, even though I'm having a relationship with a nomad. Maybe I need to crank things up. Mum! Dad! I'm getting married! That's nice, dear. Oh. Really? Yes, we don't want to be a boring old couple who judges you for making huge mistakes, so you marry that gypsy boy. Live your life. Now, excuse me, because maybe it's just the LSD talking, but I really need to get off the spaceship. I'm fine. It's just... Sp spaceship. Yeah. Oh. Tell me, Ken. Tell me! I told you! Tell me again! Uh, okay. I, I, I thought you were really good as Magneto in the X-Men. How many more questions must I answer? Ah, Ken. The Knights of Old came into being to defend the realm against invaders. To protect our people, our children, their children's children, and their children's children's children, and also their children... Yes, I get it. Anyway, we are their successors. And we have standards to uphold. What about Ralph Harris? Stop talking! We have one final question. Do you have any connection to the gypsy folk at all? The knights and the gypsies have long been enemies. It started with Sir Lancelot and the gypsy queen, whose love knew no bounds. Oh, 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 yeah! Come on, big boy! That's... Oh, oh, God! Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, fuck me! Fuck me! It's ah. nice! Oh, oh, yeah! Ooh. You fucking dirty bastard! But then, things went wrong between them. The reasons are lost in the shrubbery of time. Uh, uh, yeah, you like that, don't you? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do next? Ooh. I'm gonna piss all over just. What? Whatever happened, the knights and the gypsies are sworn enemies. Tell us, do you have any ties to them? Absolutely, definitely no. No, no, no. Nothing like that, no. No. Oh, okay, great. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, you're all set. Now come with me upon my balloon. It is customary for us to travel naked towards your knighthooding ceremony. Are you sure this is customary? No. Isn't this amazing? Stop stroking her hair. That's not part of the service. Stop it. Just relax, babe. Can you move your hands off my ass? They're really digging in. Yeah, that's not your hand, is it, Dita? Listen, guy, it's all cool. Ah, oh, it's a long way down. How are you, Mother? I came to talk to you about the wedding plans. First, you'll arrive in a crutchless, glow-in-the-dark, all-gold replica wedding dress. Then you'll walk down the aisle of a traditional Roman Catholic stretched white Hummer limo, followed by an entourage of orange lasses, all in matching crop top dresses, lip liner, and diamante vajazzles. You know. The Gypsy Way. The Gypsy Way! That sounds different and crazy. And don't forget, if you step out of line, I'll beat the living shit out of you, so I will, so I will. <laughs> <laughs> Although I actually will. By the power of Greyskull, by the power of sight beyond sight, I now bestow the greatest honour there is, with the exception of the prestigious Mobile Award. Uh -oh. You are about to become Sir Kenton Lavender, Knight Bachelor of the British Empire, which is going to get you so laid. Wait! Uh -oh. He can't become a knight. When I had a bath with Kenton earlier, I planted a bug in his orifices. You mean offices, right? No, no, I said it right. Anyway, I learned his granddaughter is marrying a gypsy. And I have proof, look! <gasps> Kenton, the knights and the gypsies are enemies. You will never be able to call yourself Sir Kenton Lavender. You know what? Fuck you, Branson! And fuck you and your fucking knighthood, Liz! You can shove it up your surprisingly tight ass. Mm. I don't need some outdated ceremonial title means the end of your career anyway. 
And what good albums has Elton John made since he was knighted, hmm? Huh? And when's the last time Bob Geldof organised a big concert as an excuse to play his one good song? Huh? And what good virgin breads have you lodged since you became Sir Richard? Answer me that, huh? Hmm? Well, I'm doing Virgin Babies next, and uh, I'm quite excited about it. Wah, 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 wah. I'm hungry, Daddy. Feed me, Sir Richard. Feed me, Richie. Wah, 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 wah. Hi. I'm always asking overweight women to take their clothes off and help them realise they can be beautiful despite their many large rolls of flab. Tonight, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. This is how I look, naked. You want Lady Gok or Boy Gok? <laughs> Lady Gok or Lady Boy Gok? Come on, Wend, we need to get to the wedding. And we can combine it with the next thing on the list. Do you ever think that letting our daughter marry a Japanese person and doing crazy madcap things like hitchhiking, even though we have a car, all because of a list we wrote 30 years ago when we were drunk, is a little bit pointless? Uh, no. No, fair enough. And this is safe, isn't it? It's in. Ah, the irony. Difficult to enjoy it. It's weird because I have a moustache, but I don't normally have a moustache. But I still have a moustache. Hello there. I am a fortune teller. I don't believe you. Tell me what's going to happen right now. What's going to happen now is that you're going to get a slap around the face. Then you will believe me. Impossible. I believe you, but maybe that was a lucky guess. So tell me, what does my future hold? I foresee a sharp pain in your nutsack region. Oosh! <laughs> Just as you foretold! Let the wedding begin! We're gathered here today for what looks to be a beautiful ceremony. People say all kinds of blarney about these gypsy weddings, but this is tasteful. This is understated. No tricks or gimmicks. Fucking hey, that's right. Look at me go. I'm a fucking transformer. Optimus Prime or something. When two people who are too drunk to legally marry decide they want to, we let them do it. The Gypsy Way. The Gypsy Way! But before we get started, the Gypsy Choir will sing. Girl and the Friday, Gypsy Way the is the finest way to go home. Don't you think this list stuff is getting a bit out of hand? But we want to feel young. I don't feel young. I feel like we've just had everything, including our clothes, stolen from us by now with a big knife. I liked our lives. As they were. What are we doing? We shouldn't be allowing our daughter to marry a gypsy person. We need to put a stop to this. Okay, then. Let's do this thing! <laughs> Unless anyone has any objection, which would be really surprising in a situation like this, I now pronounce you man and... Oh, wait. Man and... What's the word again? You... Man and... Oh, for fuck's sake. I... It's man and... Stop! Stop the wedding! This can't happen! Don't do this, Eve! I know you don't want to end up like me and Wendy. I mean, who would? But being inoffensive, middle of the road and ordinary is what being English is all about. Do you really want to be a gypsy? Not sure, but now you disapprove, it seems like a better idea than ever. Let's get married! Okay then, Liam and Eve, I now pronounce you man and overweight wife. Bring on the belly dancers! I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Hey, darling. The office was a nightmare today. Don't! Hey, darling, me! I've been stuck in here cleaning the caravan all day! What happened 
to the crazy alternative gypsy lifestyle. Well, we kind of put it on for the cameras and all those documentaries, you know. I mean, I'm not even Irish. I even put the accent on for the cameras. People want to watch TV and judge other people's lifestyles, and we can make some money out of it, so... Shut up and help me clean this caravan! It's bloody filthy in here! <gasps> oh, God. After all this, I'm turning into my mum anyway. Isn't that a funny turn of events? Yeah, it didn't work out. No one say anything. Jason, why aren't you rocking your semi-ironic moustache anymore? I shaved it off. It was really itchy, and I had a slight worry that me not shaving my upper lip wasn't actually helping in the fight against cancer. Of course it wasn't. You really think growing facial hair will somehow cure a fatal disease? Este hombre seguro que pronto estará muerto. Estaba en remisión durante todo el año, pero ahora su cáncer de prostata misteriosamente ha vuelto peor que nunca. ¿Cuál era la causa? Solo puedo imaginar que algún bastardo egoísta se ha negado a crecer un bigote de noviembre. Solo un bigote podría haber salvado la vida de este hombre. Es un pelotas. Y la gente dice que otros crecen solamente estos bigotes para ver lo que parecerán con el bigote. El mundo es tan cínico, Consuela. Ahora... Ayúdame a frotar la loción en la cara. Tengo razones para creer que un lleno en la barba pondrá fin al flagelo del SIDA. Hey, I'm Edgar Johnson. I'm making this appeal to you in black and white to show you I'm really serious about this message. It's in black and white. I've grown a soul patch, that region of hair spanning the uncertain divide between the lower lip and the chin that looks like a shadow or like you've got some stuff on your face. I've grown this to help the fight against child abuse, which I, for one, have had enough of. You may think you look like the bassist in a mid-90s grunge band, but hey, that's okay. We can patch things up together. This St. Patrick's Day, grow a soul patch. The only way left to combat child abuse.